Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're gonna be making two cards using a card sketch and using up scraps. So I have this six by six paper pad called Floral Fusion, and then I've got another paper pad from Craft Consortium. And I've only got a few sheets left of each. So I really wanna try and start using up some of my pattern paper. And so I thought using a card sketch would be a great way to do that. I've also got some metallic gold cardstock scraps. I tend to keep all these together, so we're going to be using those in today's video as well. I then have a photo box, which I store spare die-cut flowers in that I've made and leaves. And I really, again, want to start working my way through using up some of these bits. I'm using a stamp set from Creative Craft Products today called Floral Nostalgia. It's the stamp set sentiments and I'm just going to be using that bottom one there. Thank you. I haven't actually used this stamp set yet so today would be the perfect opportunity to use it. This is the card sketch that I'm using today. It's from Mojo Mundi and it's number 275 and so we're going to make two cards and we're going to see how depending on the pattern paper that you use each one will look slightly different. So I'm going to start off with the floral fusion paper pad and I've got quite a few strips and a square uh, that will be ideal for this card uh, sketch. So I'm just going to pick out some of those pattern pieces of paper. I've got my paper trimmer ready because we'll be needing that to trim them down and I'm going to be working to make these measurements fit a 5x7 card blank. The first piece of pattern paper measures 2x6 and the gold piece is 2 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. For the second piece of pattern paper, I've trimmed that down to one and three quarters by five, and then the gold piece is one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I'm really using these measurements just to fit the scraps that I've got. So you could, of course, customize this to whatever size scraps that you've got using a similar layout. I've then got a square piece of pattern paper that's three inches squared and a piece of gold that's three and a quarter squared. For the strip or the band that's going to go behind, I've got this piece of pattern paper that already measures about an inch. So I'm just trimming that down to five inches wide and then two gold strips that are already um, quite thin. So I'm just trimming those down to five inches wide as well. And then just working out what size circles to use. This is the Creative Craft Products um, Nesting Circles die set. And it fits this sentiment, thank you, perfectly. So I've gone ahead and die cut those already. And I'm just going to ink this up now with Versafine Onyx Black ink. And then I'll just stamp that down on the circle. So once we've done all of that cutting, now we're going to just attach all the matte layers together. Today I'm using some uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue. It's the tiniest bit that I've got left in this bottle. So I thought while I'm using scraps, I'm going to empty. I've got a few nearly empty glue bottles. So I'm going to make a mission to finish some of those off today. So I'm just attaching all of the layers down using that glue. You could, of course, use red line tape here or double sided tape just so that, you know, if you're worried about getting any glue oozing out onto the pattern paper or the metallic card. Um, but, I, you know, if you're careful with the liquid glue, you can use it sparingly. And also, if you do get any in the gold mirror cardstock, you can easily wipe it off while it's still wet. Next, I'm using up some fine pads from my stash. I haven't pained you watching me peel off all the backing tape for those squares, but... I've done that off camera and then I've just stuck that down. And then the same with the strip. I've added a little bit of foam pads to the far left and far right, just so that it, it sits on the card base and um, hovers over all of those layers in the center of the card. Then I'm gonna add these little gold strips on. So very carefully here with the liquid glue. Uh, I do get a little bit on the metallic gold, but as you can see, I can just quickly rub it off. So it's not a problem. Then for the sentiment, I'm going to add, again, add some foam pads on the back, but I need to make sure that the foam pads are placed either side of that band so that the um, sentiment sits flush and it's not wonky. And then I'll just peel off the backing tape and attach that down. So I'm just going to go through the stash of flowers that I've got now and just work out which ones look best. It does take me a while to decide. So again, with the magic of video editing, I've cut out some of that. Uh, so that you don't get too bored. But as you can see, I just pick out a couple of green leaves, this lovely little pink flower, which I've added an enamel dot to the center. And then that is the first card finished using this uh, card template. So I really hope that you've enjoyed watching the process so far. We're now gonna repeat the process, but using some different pattern paper. Again, the measurements this time are not gonna be the same because uh, again, I'm just using what I've got. 
And in this case, I'm actually going to have to use a whole sheet. Uh, I've only got a few of those sheets left, so we're going to cut that down. If you do want the measurements here, for the larger gold panel, it's two and three eighths by five and seven eighths. And the pattern paper is two and a quarter by five and three quarters. Then for the smaller strip, the gold is two inches by five and a quarter. And then uh, the pattern paper is one and three quarters by five inches. The square is the same as on the last one, three inches uh, for the pattern paper, four inches for the metallic gold matte layer. And then for the strip across, across the card, because I've done this one slightly differently, I've done the pattern paper at four and three quarter inches by three quarter inches, and then the gold is one inch by five inches. So that's all the layers, but of course, use whatever you've got in your stash. You can make these strips fit whatever scraps you've got left over. So uh, all I'm trying to do is use up these pattern paper this pattern paper here. So next we're just going to glue all of those layers together and again I'm using the uh, bit of glue that I've got left in the Nuvo Deluxe glue but again uh, you could use tape here. So we just want to get all those stuck down and then we can start lining them up on our card front. You can see already here how the pattern paper gives a different vibe to the card because it's more muted tones with the gold it just gives a completely different feel and I really, I love this paper pad. I only have a few sheets of it left. So it was one of my very first paper pads that I bought when I started crafting in lockdown. So yeah, I was a little bit reluctant to use it all up, but um, you know, there's always another paper pad that comes out that you want. So yeah, it's good to use up what you've got left. I'm just uh, doing the same as before, adding a few um, foam pads and then we're gonna stamp the same sentiment um, and then attach that circle down. Instead of attaching a flower to this card, I've got a bee that was already fussy cut, um, actually from the paper pad cover. I love how the Craft Consortium paper pads have kind of toppers built into the cover of the paper pad, so you can fussy cut those out and use them in your card making. So it really makes the paper pad versatile because you, you use the whole of it, even the front and back cover. So yeah, I really love their paper pads. So this is the second card, all nice and finished. So I'll bring the other one back in in a moment and then I'll add some close-up photos of those cards. I really hope that you've enjoyed um, watching this video today. Let me know in the comments below if you've used um, card sketches before, if you enjoy this kind of video, how to use up paper scraps. And yeah, I might make a little series uh, working my way through some card sketches and how we can use our scraps. So thank you so much for joining me today. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.